and uh, it's burning now. Yay! Everything's on fire. Yay! Well, before we go up, should I go into the other room? Actually, no. Let's just go up. Let's just go up. We don't really need to uh, waste too much time. Stairs to the attic. Purple rain achievement unlocked. What does that mean? Ah, uh, what is going on here? A whole new area. Whoa! What? What does that I mean? Uh, rituals of Our Lady. Let me just walk around a little bit. See what I can pick up. You seek a haven from which you will never be able to return. That's fine. Mask of the Assassin. Face of Truth. Oh, hey, you're back. Hey, how you doing? Uh, woman shaped mannequin. And. Do you love her? Who? Maybe. What? Who is she? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Alright. Uh, the old shoes are stuck to the wall. Oh, I can leave. No. The woman has stood up. What are you, what are you pointing at? Why did you steal the statue from the church? It's her. Her? Who? Her. Am I losing sanity? Like, is, is that... Like that, is, am I losing sanity when I look at this thing? What does that mean? Let me just save again. Let me just save there. Alright. And uh, let's go pick up more stuff, if we can. What is this? Chair? It seems to be made for clothes. Fascinating. It's a mannequin symbol of the goddess. An archaic portrayal of a deity of some divine being. Uh, is that a penis? Those look like penises. Don't know what that means. It belongs to the age when gods and men breathe the same air. I... Uh, wow, it's pretty big, this place. There's a lot of stuff up here. Let's just walk over here. This is... And yet you have no qualms about bestowing it. Hmm. I think the goddess is not happy with me. Why did you destroy it? You're obsessed! Look at you! Right. Door? I can't leave now, something's gonna happen. What's gonna happen? That's weird. Mirror. It's so covered with filth I can't even display a reflection. Can I clean it? Can I clean the mirror? No. Not like that, at least. Um. Alright. Nothing there. Here you are. Ever closer to me. Wardrobe. Alright. I keep saying brace for jump scares, but we haven't actually had any jump scares in the whole game, I don't think. Oh no. I killed Anna, didn't I? I think I did. So yeah, there's no real jump scares, except for the occasional can hitting me in the back of the head. Let's just examine this place a little bit more. No, nope, nothing's there. No, okay, so we've, we've looked through everything. It's just a big room up here. Alright. So I know if I keep saying this and nothing happens, but brace yourself for a jump scare when we open the wardrobe. Brace. So, you know, volume, headphones, you know what to do. Alright, here we go. Nothing. Okay, never mind. Never mind about masks. Never mind about the jump scare. See, what I'm, I'm really convinced is that they're gonna spring a jump scare on us it's at some point. And all of this is just really 
clever conditioning. Like they, they, they're conditioning us to think that there won't be a jump scare, but there will be at some point in the future. So, you know, just, just brace yourself. I, we picked up two books. I haven't read any of them yet. I probably should. But uh, let's see if we can go through this door at this point. Door to living quarters. Oh, we can. What? This is weird noises every time you go into a new area. Mannequin? Gigantic candle holder. Great. Chained wardrobe, alright. Damaged door. What is that sound? Oh hey, look! I'm stuck, I can't move. Oh, I'm stuck. Uh, I'm stuck. I guess I should... put on a mask? Mask of the Assassin? Nope, I still can't move. Alright. What is this? Statue? I clearly heard my voice. Was it a memory? According to the conversation, I stole a statue from a church. Okay. But why? Da da da. All right. So the mask doesn't help. Uh, mask of tr a face of truth. Already, we'll take it off, idiots. All right. How do I take it off? I take it off like that. Uh, face of truth. Cool. Oh. Oh, hey guys. Uh... And he's closer now. I can move again. Okay, never mind. I can see myself. For the first time since I met you. What? Alright, more creepy going on. Got more creepy going on. Is it goings on or going ons? Alright, let's take off the mask again. I should probably read the book. It's just getting darker and darker, are you kidding me? Damaged door. Okay, okay we can open the damaged door. Is that thing wearing a mask? A mask with a wooden head, it's glued. The mannequin seems willing to tear it off itself unsuccessfully. Ah, uh, okay. Wardrobe door. A hanger. These are always useful. Uh, what's going on? Basin. Cinders. I just get a few. Just grabbing all sorts of junk here. It's just accumulating more and more rubbish. What is this? A tool. It looks like the tool I found in this workshop downstairs. Maybe I can pry the uh, mask off the mannequin. Alright, one more book. I should read these books. A bed made of wood. Doesn't feel as old as the rest of the house. Okay. Do I break it somehow? Okay, hey. Hey, let me just help you with that mask, alright? Hanger. I've bent it looking like an iron string. Why would you do that? Nope. Alright, we don't use the hanger on the cinders, basin, face of truth. Iron bar. No, we don't knock it off with tool. No, we don't use the tool on them. Axe. Uh oops. Um, your head's gone. Mask on a wooden head. Don't I need the mask though? Let me just try two. No axe. No. Uh, not the oil. Oil. Not the oil. Knife. Slighter. No. Myself. I can't put it on because it's got a head stuck to it. Hook the blade. The blade is huge. I have to mount it on a support. Even more, it's all rusted and would not cut anything. 
Um, okay, I have a mask stuck to a head. Um, okay, um, sorry about that, bro. I'll just uh, walk out of this room right now. Okay, bye. Alright, so there's that. We've got a head with a mask stuck to it. More of these things. The door will... Will it open? No. There's a key in the keyhole. Right. We're gonna... Well, this trick is pretty, um... It's pretty well known. Hanger? Maybe I should uh, do something else first. Let me just, just stick the hanger in here, see what happens. If I do it now, I might lose the key. Yeah, yeah, okay. What can I stick underneath the uh, the door? Can I stick the basin underneath the door? Nope. Can I stick... Um, what can I... Leaf? No, alright, we'll come back when we find something to put under the door. To catch the key. Oh, this place is colourful. Look at those. What are those things? Maple leaves. I don't need another one. <laughs> Why? Who's doing that? Am I doing that or is someone else doing that? Okay, I'm sorry I chopped your head off, alright? Can you just not do that? Jeez, these mannequins, man. Drama queens. Um, okay, so this, this is like the, uh, the dining room. Don't need maple leaves. There's a cradle with maple leaves in it. A cradle. It's soaked with blood. Okay, well. That's about par for the course, isn't it? No, everything's all sorts of creepy and, and bloody. Hi. Uh, candle? Red candle. I'll take that. Thank you. Can't take your candle. There's a plate and jars which apparently we don't need. Uh, more plates and forks which apparently we don't need. Letter. We should read this stuff. I keep picking things up. That bear has blood on it, which is a real shame, because otherwise it's a pretty cute bear. Maple leaves, another cradle. We have two kids, really? There's two cradles. Door. Well, the baby's dead too. Oh look, there's the woman again. Hey, how are you doing? What is that? Oh, I hit up a chimney shovel. These are always fun. Fire. I used to spend hours in front of a lit chimney. Uh, I thought far too romantic for this ghastly place. I don't know, it's kind of romantic. Like there's a... <coughs> a woman made out of wood and... All sorts of mannequins screaming at us. Okay, it's not that romantic, never mind. Alright, well let's, let's let's read some books. Because we've got stuff to read. Um, actually, where's the letter? The letter is here. Now look at it. Look at it. Dearest, finally, the last part of the, enig the enigma, enigma, sorry, which has tormented me for months is about to be solved and at last I will be able to see her again. I am writing to you because once more I must share with you my joy. Uh, like we have always shared every torment and every victory in the past. Brother, okay it's a brother, brother of mine, why aren't you here with me? What has driven us apart to this point? I still remember how you welcomed me when returning from the woods without a single log of the wood which I had gone to find for building new s sabots? I told you I had found the love of my life dancing amidst the trees. You embraced me, you gave me a pat on the shoulder and tried to drag me with you to the tavern. But you know I have always been 
the shyest of us two, and I let you drink for me together with your friends, whilst I, from that night, pondered on how I could see her again. Thanks to that extreme perception which brought me to close myself, I realized she was not a flesh and blood woman, but a magical creature. And studying the few documents I had at the time, and the ancient books I subsequently found, I managed to discover- this is a long lesson- to discover her true identity. You did not understand how someone in love could love himself in- or could lose himself in body box and lock himself in his room for a greater part of the day. You wanted me to run to my beloved one, to kidnap her. <laughs> Thanks to my studies, I discovered a very different way of obtaining my lady. I needed not strength nor boldness, but faith. I discovered that my wonderful nymph was a goddess who had been adored in this valley for centuries. I discovered which cult was dedicated to her. I found the monks described in the books to com oh, the masks described in the books to complete the ritual, and finally I also learned with the certainty that her temple was hidden right in our home beneath our feet. Oh yeah, brother of mine, my love for her is desired by destiny. How could you have managed to separate us? Yet still you tried, because you were brave, because you deemed yourself strong. The books I read frightened you, the rituals I performed repelled you, and when at last I revealed to you the identity of my beloved, you told me I was mad. I did not care, I suffered because I had lost your esteem. But for her I sacrificed my pain, and when I discovered that this is a really long letter, when I discovered that you had stolen my books, I confronted you. You screamed that you had burned them to save my soul at last, since my mind was already lost. But in that moment my soul screamed in pain and wrath because you had torn her from me, perhaps forever. And so it was as if my body acted on its own. I did not fear your strength, and I did not hurt you. It was love that led my hands. If from up there you are watching me and reading my letter, you will understand that even while I was hitting you, I still loved you. Bro, you are insane. You will understand that I could not do otherwise. After days of desperation, I discovered where you kept my books hidden, and I locked them safely in my bedroom. I should have imagined that you would dare to have burned them, or you have not dared to burn them. Now I must needs only find the entrance to the temple, but my faith is so strong and so gentle is this pain that I already feel victorious. Rejoice with me, my brother. Rejoice with me because my faith and yours have been accomplished and my reward is near. Bro, you are insane. <laughs>